This problem is referred to as a complex fraction. Notice that we actually have fractions within the entire fraction. So what we need to do for this problem is to somehow get it to be just one numerator and one denominator. And the simplest way to do that is to multiply through by the common denominator over the common denominator. Here, our common denominator is y plus 1. So I'm going to multiply the numerator times y plus 1, and I'm going to multiply the denominator times y plus 1. And when I do that, here we'll have y times the quantity y plus 1. But notice when I multiply the y plus 1 times this second term here, that the y plus 1's would cancel. So I'll just have minus 2. And something similar happens in the denominator here. I take 1 times y plus 1, that's just y plus 1. And then when I take and multiply the y plus 1 times this minus 2 over y plus 1, the y plus 1's cancel and I'm just left with minus 2. And now the only thing I have left to do is to combine like terms, multiply things out. Maybe something will factor. Um, let's see, let's, we'd have y squared plus y minus 2. And in the denominator, we'd have y minus 1. Uh, let's factor the numerator just to make sure that nothing in both the uh, numerator and denominator are the same, that we can't do any canceling. Our factors of 2 are 2 and 1, and we want this to be a plus 2 and a minus 1. And actually, look here. The y minus 1s are the same in both the numerator and denominator. So our actual final answer is just y plus 2. So that entire complex fraction that we were given at the beginning of the problem simplifies to y plus 2.